Hey everyone, what's going on? It's me, Winston. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> uh, just a quick tip. If you are going to have your windows uh, tinted by a professional shop, it would make it a lot easier, maybe possibly even more cheaper, to do it by removing your own tint. Now the trick with this, as you can see here, I'm running my fingers on it, that there's, there's no adhesive left over because I'm doing it when the window is hot. Okay, like a, a warm sunny day here in California. Whereas I know in some other states it might be a little cold at this time of the year. So what you might have to do is run a blow dryer or a heat gun on the surface of your window, maybe on the other side, to help uh, soften the adhesive before you start pulling it down. Now, uh, don't worry about the lines. That's how dark my tints used to be, as you can like, probably see right here, okay? That's how dark the tints used to be. And what the leftover lines is just basically a shadow of what's, what wasn't uh, exposed to the sun a lot. Do it nice and slow. If you want, you want the best results, you, you have to leave the exposed windows to the sun as long as possible. I might show it in uh, a lot faster format just to save some time. See how slow I was doing it? Very light pressure. And you can do it pretty you can do this pretty much um, on any window. To get it off initially, if you are unable to peel the edge off, you might want to do a little cut with a blade do not cut any of these lines okay because that's going to affect the uh um defroster just push down nice and slow and you'll have this off in no time one of these days i'll uh show you guys how to fit the window That's all off. No sticky residue. Uh, the installers will uh, do the cleanup and everything. See, no adhesive, okay? Nice and clear. Remember, hot window or warm window as much as possible, okay? Again, in, in tight spaces like this, you may have to take it to a uh, you might have to take a blade to it, but in this case, I didn't have to. Nice and slow, very slow. Please do take your time on this, because the moment you ripped it off, the moment you ripped it off really, really fast, so you're gonna leave the sticky stuff on the window. See again, you don't hear no stickiness on the glass. You want that result as much as possible. Yes, my wife is a big supporter of Hurley. <laughs> there you go. See how the original tint used to be? Yeah, those are the uh, unexposed parts. Oh, out with the old. If you have new tints installed, however, make sure to check with your local or state uh, laws to see what's allowed and what's not. Uh, here in the United, you know, communist state of California, you have to have a certain percentage in the front, uh, so just so that they can see pass, you know, passengers and drivers. Uh, most of, most most states will allow full lim you know full limo tint all over. Uh, lucky you guys, and. Uh, <laughs> Make sure that it's not an obstruction to the vision of your uh, vehicle, especially if you have the uh, visors in the front.
Okay, so with that, I hope you found this uh, quick tip uh, helpful. Uh, please like, share, and comment if uh, in the section below. And until next time, don't do anything crazy out there, you kids. All right, see ya. Bye.